and welcome to the marvelous, miraculous, and sometimes meandering magic show. I would like to first introduce you to my assistant, Marvin. Marvin. Oh, Marvin. Marvelous Marvin. Ah, yes. Marvelous Marvin. And what a marvel you are. <gasps> you know what else is marvelous? This magazine article I was reading by this amazing author. Author? What's an author? The author is the person who wrote the article, and they had a reason for writing it. Their purpose, to get the reader, that's me, to learn something. And I am using my marvelous magic brain powers to help reveal the author's purpose. Reveal the purpose! Exactly, Marvin. And you're in luck, my magicians in training, because today I will show you how I do it. With this magic trick, you will reveal the author's purpose, and then poof, you will transform that author's purpose into a glorious work of art yeah! that will appear right here in the magazine article. Every marvelous article needs an even more marvelous picture. And the one right here, just doesn't belong because it doesn't tell about the author's purpose. So we will draw our own. Marvelous art. Exactly, Marvelous Marvin. But back to the article. See, the author's purpose could be to either persuade us to believe or do something. Persuade us? Want a cracker? Mm. Yummy cracker. Aww. Informing us with certain facts about a topic. Inform us. Parrots talk. Quack, quacky, quacky, quack, 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 quack. Parrots dance. Woo, 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 woo. Wow, wow. Parrots sing. The author could also be entertaining us with a funny story. Entertain us. It's almost as if the author has magic powers of their own and they're performing that magic on you. Author's purpose, author's purpose. And it's your job as a magician to reveal what that author's purpose is. Ooh, stop and jot, stop and jot. Oh, Marvin, that was my magic secret to share. Uh-oh. <laughs> as Marvin was saying, we are going to use our marvelous magic brain powers to read the article and then stop when we think we have read something important. Once we stop, we then jot the important thing from the story down on paper. That's right, you just write it down. The more you practice stop and jot, the better you'll be at revealing the author's purpose. Woohoo! Awesome! This article I was reading from Modern Magician Magazine is called Magic Minds. It reads, every child should learn magic because learning magic tricks helps a child be more creative. Stop and jot. Marvelous Marvin is onto something. Learning magic tricks helps a child be more creative. That sounds important. Let's stop and jot that down. Ooh. Continue. Being creative also helps a child do better in school subjects like writing and math. Stop and jot, stop and jot. You're on it, Marvin. We found another important part where the author wants us to know that being creative also helps a child do better in school subjects like writing and math. Continue, continue. And reading books feels more fun to children who are creative because they can imagine the stories better. Hmm, that sounds important. Let's stop and jot that down one more time. From stopping and jotting, we know that one, learning magic tricks helps children be more creative. Two, creativity helps children do better in writing and math. And three, creativity makes reading more fun. Since learning magic tricks helps children be more creative and creativity helps children do better in writing and math, I would say the author's purpose is, oh, I think I got it. And now, it's time for the big reveal of the author's purpose. Mama Miramu and me, my Moogly Moo! Art! I think the author's purpose is trying to persuade the reader 
leader, that learning magic helps children do better in school. And since every article needs a picture, I drew a young magician pulling an A-plus out of a hat. And here's you, Marvin. Woohoo! Thanks, Marvin. Mar Marvelous Marvin. Ready to make some magic on your own? Take out your magazine article about the incredible Simone Biles, and once you read something important, stop and then jot. And then over here on your magic magazine, you can write the author's purpose and draw your glorious picture above it here. Let the magic show begin. When we come back, it'll be time to reveal your author's purpose and your art. Marvelous! <laughs> Did you reveal the author's purpose and create some glorious art? Marvelous! Oh, wow! That's really good work! For the author's purpose, if you wrote that the author's purpose is to inform us that Simone Biles is an excellent gymnast who overcame challenges, or inform us that challenges like having ADHD can also be superpowers, then you reveal the author's purpose. And for the picture, I drew Simone Biles with a superhero cape that says, ADHD on the back, doing a backflip high in the air. Marvelous! What did you draw? Share with your teacher, friends, or grown-up. And for the last magic trick today, Mama Mira Moo! And me, Mom Boogly Boo! I got a joke. When does a teacher carry bird seed? When? When they have a parrot teacher conference. <laughs> 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 <laughs>